Today's caper is bankrolled by Be Our Guest Vacations. Book your next trip to Disney destinations around the world at BeOurGuestVacations.com slash WDWNT. And also by viewers like you through the WDWNT Interglobe Society or WIGS. Join today at Patreon.com slash WDWNT. All these people want to know, where in the world is Tom Corliss? And one of these three people could find him. Crew, Cole, and Eric. Today's episode is Take Her Easy There, Phil Grimm. And now, the man in charge of training the new recruits, Nick Los Cicero. Where in the world is Tom Corliss? How's everybody doing tonight? Having a great night so far? All right, we have a heck of a case for our contestants to solve tonight. I don't know how they're going to do it, but they need to know their way around Walt Disney World in order to do so. So let's start off things by checking in with the chief for our briefing. Chief? All right, detectives, gather near. Have we got a tale to tell you from this ancient tome? <laughs> Twas a long time ago. That's a lie. Twas this morning. <laughs> it opened up without any warning. And out crept a man or a ghost of a soul. He was grumpy and mean. A real a-hole. <laughs> he shook his fist. Forgotten again, he said. No one cares for Thanksgiving except to be fed. It's time for a change, and I know where to begin. I'm going to Disney World to achieve this win. And with a gobble, Phil Grimm did depart, but needed a stop to complete his rampart. To celebration, he wobbled and found Tom in his chair. Aren't you the guy that saved the country bear? The country bear jamboree, said Tom, rather indignant. Whatever, close enough, replied Phil, quite malignant. Then he took out a rope and some turkey feathers. And he tied them all up with a series of tethers. You're coming with me to help save my season. Halloween and Christmas should be charged with high treason for squeezing me and mine out of the time we deserve. And then out the door, he carried Tom with great nerve. Tom tried to wiggle and squirm, even squabble. But Phil said, not a word unless it's gobble gobble. <laughs> then in the blink of an eye, they were gone. And I swear it was a turkey that they flew away on. Where's the rest of the story? What, what happens to Tom? I, I need to know. But... <clears throat> well, that's where you gumshoes come in. It's up to you to finish writing the story by locating our villain, the grumpy ghost pilgrim, Phil Grimm, before he's able to ruffle up some turkey feathers across Disney property and, of course, find Tom Corliss. All right, thanks, Chief. Gumshoes, what we're going to do is start you off with 50 core bucks each. Anytime you answer a question correctly, we'll give you 10 more core bucks. The two of you with the highest score at the end of this round will then proceed to the next round. Are you ready? Yep. All right, excellent. Here is clue. Wait. Ooh. Ooh. Wait. What? What? What is what is that sound? Is that is that a poltergeist? The ghost of Thanksgiving's past. Yes, yes, boys and girls, it is I, the poultry geist. Oh. How, how did you end up here? Why why are Some you kind ghost of here? Some named Phil and his turkey named Tom decided to hop on me unannounced and rode me all the way over here. Okay. Told Disney I was their newest holiday storyteller. 
I figured since Halloween Horror Nights ended, this was my opportunity at a job. And you're in luck. My set's just about to start. Oh, two stories in one. All right, I'm ready. Ooh, I'll tell you how I came to be. It started off here at this very place on a day like today. I was sipping on a refreshing American dream beverage, minding my own business, when someone saw me and tried to start trouble. <laughs> tried telling me that Benjamin Franklin was the worst for ever suggesting that I be the national bird. The nerve. <laughs> Talk about ruffling my feathers. So I started chasing him all around, knocking over souvenir popcorn buckets, spilling cheese sauce, and making a big mess. Looking back, that probably wasn't the smartest of decisions, as it then caused people to start chasing me so I'd stop chasing him. That's, that's so wild. <laughs> what, then what happened? Well, unfortunately, they caught me, and my goose was cooked. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> I had this pet goose. He was the absolute best. Followed me everywhere. R.I.P. little guy. <laughs> then, the bats, they cooked me too. Gobble, gobble, mother. <laughs> And now my turkey legs are being sold right here at this very establishment. And thanks to Disney making me a storyteller, I can both haunt and delight any guests that come my way. Wow. <laughs> that, that was one of the best stories I've ever heard. Oh, man, I'm sorry about the whole being cooked thing. That hurt. Oh, that's all right. It's not all bad. I get to listen to the candlelight processional, and I'm looking forward to seeing Anne Margaret. She was in one of my favorite movies. Yes, bye bye, Birdie. <laughs> well, I'm gonna let you go for now. I'm in between sets, and I see a group of Brazilian tourists coming my way that I can scare. Ooh, 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 go, 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 go. ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> All right, all right, contestants. I think the poultry geist is gone, I think. All right. Uh, so, contestants, where did Phil and Tom dump the turkey? Was it Regal Eagle Smokehouse, Fife and Drum, or Black and Hands? Or Hans, depending on where, what part of the country you're from. <laughs> All right, is there, uh, everybody write down their answer? Yes, sir. Good, okay. All right, Drew, let's start with you. Uh, what did you write down? Uh, it's crew, Tom. Uh, sorry, it's crew, Nick. Crew. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, that's probably a C. All right. B? B. You, you, uh, fife and fife drum. And drum. <laughs> yes, that is correct. Get ten points. What did you What did you write, Cole? Here we go, Eagle. Oh, that is incorrect. And Eric. Same. S Regal Eagle. Regal Eagle. Uh, smokehouse. All right. So only Crew gets ten points there. Good job, Crew. <laughs> it's Regal Eagle. Good job. All right, Gumshoes. Our NZDA contacts have discovered some clues in the alley. So why don't we head on over to the alley to see what we can find? Go on over. It's, it's Rob's Alley adjacent. There's a, lot of, there's a lot of alleys. There's a lot of space out here. It's a big piece of land. We, we do like our alleys around here. All right, detectives. Our sources say that Phil Grimm has taken Tom to one of the resorts on the monorail loop. And it's up to you to figure out which one. In front of each of you is a present with a lid on it. When I say go, you will unwrap the gift so you can open the top of the box and search for a cookie. On the cookie, you will find a clue written in frosting. Once you find the cookie, take it out 
and fold the lid closed on your present box, okay? Are you ready? Get the cookie, close the lid, then you're done, all right? On your marks, get set, go! All right, we got, we got crew. All right, looks like Cole has it, right? You got it? Yeah, all right, and then Eric's turn. Got it? All right, everybody has a cookie and everybody closed their present, right? Yeah, it looks good, all right. All right, Drew, what word, Once crew? Again, Nick, that is all right, I'm, all right, give me a second, <laughs> give me a second. That's clearly a C now, all right. We got it. Go ahead, crew, what, you, what, what is your say? DVC, in the lobby of the DVC area of this resort, you can find a fountain featuring penguins. Okay. Cole, what is written on yours? Beach. Beach. This resort did not open with the rest of the Walt Disney World in 1971. In fact, it didn't open until 1988 with Beach Resort as part of its original name. All right, Eric, and what's written on yours? Says Hulk. Ooh, I'm glad it was Hulk. All right. This resort was the primary filming location of the TV show Thunder in Paradise, starring none other than Hulk Hogan. All right. So, contestants, where do you think Phil Grimm has taken Tom? Is it Disney's Contemporary Resort, Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and Spa, or Disney's Polynesian Village Resort? Crew, since you found yours first, you get to guess first. Which was it? Um, I will go with B, please. Uh, Grand Floridian Resort? I'm sorry, A, please. Contemporary? No, B, please, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Just name the resort. Yes. Grand Flo. All right, so you're going with the Grand Floridian Resort and Spa? Yes. You are... Correct. It is the Grand Floridian Resort and Spa. Good job, crew. There you go. Look at that. All right, 10 points for you. Excellent job. I think you may return to your podiums. Nick, my office. Hurry. Oh, I'm, I'm coming, Chief. I'll be right back, contestants. Hey, Chief, what's so important? You called Five, me in here for... four, three, two, one. Brace yourself. Winter is coming. What, what do you mean? Oh! Oh! oh, 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 oh. What? What was that? Wait. Oh, is, 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 that, is that snow? Yes, Nick. My office has been turned into a giant snow globe somehow, and it gets shaken every minute and a half. I've got it timed, and now my phone reminds me every time that we're about to get shaken so I can brace myself. Well, that's good, but that does leave a little bit of a problem. Uh, if we keep getting shaken like this, I'm gonna lose all the peppermints out of my pockets. They're just gonna you, fall right you out. You keep peppermints in your pockets too? Yeah, look at it, look at it, I got, I got a ton. Um, I love to keep them this time of year. You know, it's the holiday season. Oh, thank you. Good, you know, good gifts to give out to people. See, there you go, Chief. And uh, sometimes I like to unwrap them one by one and then just shove a handful in my mouth all at once and drink a cold glass of water just to feel alive. I think I'm going to tuck that one deep, deep away in my brain, maybe bring it out if seasonal depression starts to set in. That could cheer me up, I suppose. Mm. Well. Uh-oh, the alarm. What, what? Brace yourself. No. No. Ooh. Ooh. This is ridiculous, Nick. Yeah. I can't function with the shaking in the snow, what? fake or otherwise. Wait, the snow I was eating was fake? It's better than yellow snow, Nick. Either way, what should I do to get rid of all the shaking in snow? Well, no, Chief, have you tried? Telling our home audience how they can win a Where in the World is Tom Corliss t-shirt? That's a great idea, Nick. Those of you in the live chat, put hashtag gumshoe in there, and we will select three lucky winners by the end of tonight's show. 
to receive their own free Where in the World is Tom Corliss t-shirt. Maybe that is a great solution to me. Well, I mean, that is good, Chief, but actually I was going to say, why don't you uh, put an out-of-order sign on your desk, and then we have broken, and people will think the snow globe's broken. If it's broken, you think the snow globe won't be... That's they won't a great shake it. idea. Why would somebody Works shake a broken Disney snow globe? Works at Disney should work anywhere. Yeah. So out of order, there you go. O-R-D-E-R. -E I think you got it. All right. Tape that right up to your desk. Lucky I had this tape right here. Yeah. Well, I mean, if you and the large really, marker, yeah. it's very handy. Sometimes I just use the uh, I lick a peppermint, and it, it gets really sticky, and you just use that instead of tape. Comes in handy in a pinch. Okay, we ready? I think so. Great job, Nick. I think it worked. Oh, good. All right. Well, um, in that case, do you mind if I uh, take off now, Chief? I, I got a case to help solve. All right. Get cracking, Nick. All right. <laughs> oh, sorry. I probably shouldn't eat that during the... That's more like it. That actually sounds like it's break time at the Haunted Mansion. Let's take a peek backstage. Really jealous of the way she can just nod off like that. I'm pretty sure my second husband snored that loud, but he stopped once I axed him to. I thought I did. You know who would know is Le Leota. Hey, Leota, wake up. Creepies and crawlies, toads in a pond. Let there be music from regions beyond. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> Force a habit. <laughs> <laughs> Leota, Sally thought she saw a ghost and a turkey come through the stretching room earlier. Did you happen to see anything like that taking a ride on a doom buggy? You know, I did. At first I thought I was in the middle of a slumber, but I blinked a few times to clear my eyes and all I kept saying is, all I kept saying is, it wasn't fair. I got turned into a specialty item and sold somewhere during past holiday parties. But I mean, have you seen me? <laughs> I'm a head above the rest. <laughs> well, present company excluded, of course. <laughs> now that you say that, I overheard some of the ballroom ghosts complain that some vagabond with a pet bird was complaining about how the party table was missing waffle sandwiches. They've already moved on to the birthday cake. Why would they still have waffle sandwiches at the table? We may be dead, but we're not barbaric. Ooh, it just really burns my buns. Uh-oh, <laughs> Sally's growing mad again. <laughs> hey, Sally, your cracks are showing. <laughs> I, I don't remember seeing this guy, but now I'm pretty sure he was yelling at me while going backwards down the hill. Something about how they'd never pull this at the place he was designed after Washington Irving's sunny side home. And I was like, we're also based off of Hudson Valley Homes. Oh, this guy is a real speck displainer, if you ask me. Could have used a tambourine to the head to awaken his spirit, if you know what I mean. Yeah, just, just, he really needed his spirit <laughs> awakened. He sure did. Yeah, oh. I can think of a few other people that could do. <laughs> but yeah, man, these breaks are always my favorite. <laughs> I would I feel as if they might last forever. I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Oh! Well, 
union break is over, ladies. Back to the grind. Oh, thank you. It's just. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ooh, Leota, your new PJ bottoms. Are those new? Oh, they are. They were a gift from the Hatbox Ghost. Oh, Leota, you and the Hatbox Ghost? What is going on there? What? We're just friends. We go way back. Come on. Sure. I think he's trying to compensate for something anyways. You gotta get... It's because he's coming. Well, that was something because that since. Um, I hope you enjoyed your peek backstage at the Haunted Mansion during break time. It's crazy back there. So I hope you were paying attention because we need to know what location did Phil keep comparing the Haunted Mansion to? Was it Columbia Harbor House, Liberty Square Market, or Sleepy Hollow? Remember the clues we heard? Madame Leota's specialty items sold here during past holiday parties, waffle sandwiches, and designed after Washington Irving's Sunnyside home. Which is it? Do you need the clues again? Do you need the uh, choices again? No, you're good? Okay. All right. Give Eric a second. You good? All right. All right, here we go. Crew, what did you write? Sleepy Hollow. Sleepy Hollow. Cole, what did you have? Sleepy Hollow. Sleepy Hollow. Eric? Sleepy, Sleepy Hollow. Hollow. The answer is... Sleepy Hollow. You only get 10 points. Oh, it is time for the lightning round. We're going to give you a chance to win some extra core bucks. We're going to ask you these questions. You're going to answer them lickety split. Each question is worth 10 core bucks. And they're all questions about things found in or around Liberty Square. Ring in as soon as you know the answer. All right, so grab those buzzers. Here we go. We've heard that Phil Grimm took Tom to a location he's particularly upset about because it's historically inaccurate to the area. In its backstory, the founders of this location are a family of German immigrants. This family was named the Keppels in honor of Walt's grandfather, Keppel Disney. Is it the Liberty Square Riverboat, Memento Mori, or Ye Old Christmas Shop? Eric. That is incorrect. Crew or Cole? <laughs> uh, the mentor shop? Uh, no, that is incorrect as well. Cole? We still kind of can't spell. <laughs> is it Liberty Square Riverboat, Memento Mori, or Yield Christmas Shop? Yield Christmas Shop. You are correct. 10 points for Cole. Phil Grimm has just absconded with Tom to a location he feels much more comfortable at because they serve a traditional Thanksgiving meal, also famous for its ooey, gooey toffee cake. Is it Liberty Tree Tavern, Columbia Harbor House, or Liberty Square Market? Crew. Liberty Tree Tavern. It is Liberty Tree Tavern, 10 points. Phil Grimm has taken Tom to a location that prominently features the voice of Disney legend Paul Fries, also known for voicing Burgermeister Meisterburger, the Pillsbury Doughboy, and Professor Ludwig von Drake. Did he take Tom to Fort Langhorn, the Hall of Presidents, or Haunted Mansion? Crew. Haunted Mansion. That is correct. Ten points for crew. Good job. All right, that is the end of our lightning round. But uh, you know what? You know what, Rob Capella? All this talk about the holidays really has me in the mood for a song. A song? That's a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> but do you know what would be better? Caroling. Hey, Rob, why don't you go ahead and sing a song and I'll join you? <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, you know Frosty the Snowman? It's one of my favorites. Right. Frosty the Snowman was a jolly happy soul. Are you caroling? <laughs> I love caroling! Can I join? <laughs> yeah, the, 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 just... the more the merrier. <laughs> oh, perfect. But, um, 
just hang on one second. I, I have an idea. Hang on. Hang on. I catch! <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I'm ready. <sighs> All right. <laughs> Frosty the snowman was a jolly, jolly happy soul. <laughs> 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 Can I join? Where did you even come from? <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> so I can? Yeah, you could, yes, you could, yeah, you could join. Awesome, great. So I took in the opportunity to rewrite the song just a little bit. After all, we do have a case to solve. So it's all right here. I'm gonna go ahead and pass these out. So right over here, I'm just gonna hand those out. Uh, you can have one too. Oh, thank you. Please, and of course, please. you got one unless you wanna share or anything like that. Okay, all right. Are you ready, Rob Kellel? Okay. Okay, key of C major. Okay. I, I don't know if you can handle that. All right, hit it. And a five, six, seven, eight. Squirty the snowman is an icon here they say There's sun and snow and ho 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 and families come to play Squirty the snowman, long way from the pole Take a shot, could be cold or hot, you'll see Santa's North Pole All right contestants, where did Phil where did Phil drag Tom to? Remember the clues we heard? Squirty the snowman, sun and snow where families come to play, and take a, a shot either cold or hot at the North Hole. Is it Disney's Winter Summerland Miniature Golf Course, Ski Patrol Training Camp, or Tykes Peak? All right, getting down to your answers. Take a second. Cole is writing a novel. No, there we go, you're done. All right, we got Eric in. No, he's erasing. We good, we good? All right, all right. All right, so crew, uh, what do you have? Uh, winter and summer mini golf. Winter, summer mini golf. Cole. Winter and summer land. Okay, and Eric. Winter and summer mini golf. All right, same answer, it is. Winter Summerland mini golf course. Yes, you all got it. You all get the points. Good job, contestants. All right. Do uh, you guys hear that? It sounds like our trusty team at NTDA headquarters has intercepted one of Phil Grimm's phone calls. Let's, uh, let's listen in. I brought my Harvest of Blessings Tom to the first DVC property so we can convince them that Thanksgiving is a bountiful holiday that deserves an overlay. You get the first, you get the rest. I've already surveyed the sandcastle-shaped water slide. It would make a perfect cornucopia slide of plenty. I mean, this place is themed around the conch republic. A conch is a shell horn, and cornu is Latin for horn. I don't know why this place shouldn't be Thanksgiving-themed, and I, the mascot. Oh, shoot, I gotta go. Tom's starting to nibble at the ropes. Bad turkey. Bad turkey. All right, detectives. That was a lot to take in. Is Tom being a bad turkey at... There we go. Disney's Saratoga Springs Resort, Disney's Port Orleans Resort, French Quarter, or Disney's Old Key West Resort. Remember the clues we heard. First DVC property sandcastle shaped water slide and themed around the conch republic all right we all in all right crew what do you got old key west old key west cole old key west old key west and eric old key west all right let's see the correct answer is old key west resort 10 points for everybody all right, excellent job. All right, now, contestants, let's pick up the chase. The chase! 
All right, pick up those buzzers and try to be the first to hit the button. First one to get the answer correct gets the points. Here we go. We heard that Phil Grimm is hiding out with Tom at an electric, uh, eclectic location. The proprietor started running out of plates and chairs, so the visiting sailors and town folk would trade their utensils and even bring their own chairs in exchange for a meal. What is the name of this location? Is it the Hospitality House, Goods Food to Go, or Olivia's Cafe? Cole. The Hospitality House. That is incorrect. Crew or Eric? <laughs> Can we go with Eric? Olivia's Cafe? That is correct, yes. 10 points. Phil has taken Tom to a location with the latest and greatest family-friendly video games. Guests can go head-to-head -head racing cars, dancing to the beat, solving puzzles, and more. Is it Conk Flats Community Hall, Electric Eel, or Fitness Center at... Conk Flats Community Hall? That is incorrect. Or... Electric Cole? Eel? It is Electric Eel. Ten points. That grumpy pilgrim was hungry for some shrimp fritters and took Tom to belly up to this cozy little Key West style bar. Is it gurgling suitcase libations and spirits, turtle shack poolside snacks, or Peninsular Road? Eric. Turtle side uh, snacks? That is incorrect. Ugh. Cole. Um. Gurgling suitcase? That is correct. Ten points. Phil Grimm is trying to make his escape possible by bike or boat. At what location in Old Key West can guests find regular bicycles, Surrey bikes that fit up to four people, specialty cruises, and fishing excursions? Is it Hank's Rent and Return, Sandcastle Pool Area, or Old Turtle Pond Area? Crew. Is that Hanks? It is Hanks. Ten points for crew. All right, and that is the end of our lightning round. The chase. <laughs> Which is very similar to the thing we just did that was called the lightning round, so sorry. All right, you gumshoes, shoes. It's time for the final clue of this round, which means you have to decide how much you're willing to risk. You can risk zero, ten, 20, 30, 40, right. or 50 core bucks. You have wager cards in front of you, I think, do they? Yes, I think. Choose one and put it face down in front of you on your podium. If you answer the next question correctly, we'll add that to your score, but if you're wrong, we will subtract it. We believe Phil Grimm is headed to a non-park area. If you know a lot about those types of locations, then maybe you'll want to wager a little more. If not, maybe a little less. Only two of you can move on to the next round, so take a moment and think about your wager. How much you gonna risk? 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 All right, we all have our wagers in. All right, excellent. Well, Gumshoes, we've just actually received word from one of our informants that Phil Grimm hopped on the boat from Old Key West and has taken Tom to the oldest Disney Springs district. This district originally opened in 1975 as Lake Buena Vista Shopping Village and was later renamed Walt Disney World Village. Initial offerings include a tobacco shop and a pharmacy. Which Disney Springs district did Phil Grimm escape to? Go ahead and write down your answer.
looks like everybody's done writing. Uh, so Crew is in the lead with 120 uh, core bucks. Cole is in second with 100, and Eric is in third with 80. So we will start with Eric. Eric, how much did you wager? I'm going to wager 20. 20. And what is your answer? The marketplace. The marketplace. All right. Cole, how about you? How much did you wager? 10. 10, and what was your answer? The marketplace. The marketplace. All right, crew, your wager? Uh, I put the IDK districts. <laughs> oh, how much did you wager? Oh, and I wagered, sorry, 20. 20, all right. The correct answer is the marketplace. So uh, Eric and Cole, you got it right. You'll gain points there, crew. Unfortunately, we have to take some points for you, from you. And uh, we do have a tie for the least amount of points, because so that puts Cole in first place with 110. And uh, Crew and Eric are tied at 100. Oof. How do we settle this tie? Rock, paper, scissors? Do we do rock, paper, scissors? Sabrina is <laughs> rushing out to let me know. <laughs> and Katie is coming from here. We're, we're going to find out. Actually, we were prepared. We're going to find out. Oh, we got a tiebreaker question. This is crazy. Oh, snap. Oh, what's in here? All right, so I'm guessing I just asked this to Crew and Eric, right? All right, we're gonna do that. No one tells me, Daryl, this, this is This is the first exciting. time you guys ever had a tiebreaker? This is exciting. Yes, in this game. <laughs> <laughs> we, just, we just go with ties. Yeah, the other games, we just let them end in a tie. I, I kind of want to get Kornak in here to, to read what's in here. Is he, is he around? No, all right. I am so glad we had this ready. This makes me so happy. Wow. All right. I'm guessing they'll write down their answer, right? Yes. Yeah. All right. Good luck, crew and Eric. All right. Name all six Disney Springs parking areas. All six. Where are you gonna park? <laughs> Take an Uber. <laughs> park there every weekend. I really do. Now, do they have to write them down from best to worst? <laughs> A couple of these are really underrated. You never hear about them. I don't even know if I knew there were six. All right, do we have a time limit? I think we're, uh, all right, we're good. Rob is done with the song, pens down. All right, Eric, what, uh, how many of the six do you have? What do you oh, got, got here? got three. You got three, which ones you got? Orange, lime, and uh, grapefruit. Those are all garages, so you got three of them. We'll see how many crew And got. ingredients in all your liquid magic. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. All right, crew, how many do you have? Uh, I have five, but I think I made two up. <laughs> oh, no. So we might need a tiebreaker. Oh, no. <laughs> what do you Rock got? Paper, what do you got? Uh, grapefruit, orange, lime, uh, bus transport, and Uber Lyft pickup. <laughs> Those are incorrect. All right, tiebreaker number two. First time. Right? <laughs> oh, I see you give the answer. Grapefruit, lime, orange, strawberry. Oh, I knew that. Dang it. Watermelon. I was thinking of that. Lemon. Cranberry. Turkey. Oh, wait, that's my recipe. Yeah, sorry. I think this is a. Whoever answers first. Whoever answers first. All right, get your buzzers. Okay. Get your buzzers. Why is uh, Cruz light on? Should I be concerned about that? Tiebreaker. There we go. Oh. oh so just to make sure it's working. <laughs> All right. Ooh, we got one here. All right, here we go, Crew and Eric. What show did Cirque du Soleil and Disney feature... Drawn to life. 
That is correct. Ah. Drive the life. Oh, you see it twice. And Disney feature animation collaborate on Draw, Draw to Life. <laughs> Congratulations, crew. <laughs> and Eric, you are unfortunately are eliminated, but thank you for playing. And you know what? You were a great detective. We have some great prizes from our friends at VR Guest Vacations for you. In fact, Chief is going to tell you about them. Chief. Valiant work, detective. For your time on the case, you will receive this official be our guest vacations prize pack. You will also receive three months of unlocked magic, absolutely free, and maybe some cheeses from our break room, depending on availability. Fantastic job, detective. I ate them all, but I do have some mints. Here you go. Here, here. Hey, even better. Go I'll take that, right? You're, you're, yes. Direct from my. He did good. He did good. All right, it is, I, I, I actually got to go over this way. I got I to make the walk. This is a long walk. Oof. People don't realize how big this studio is. Might take me about 10 minutes. I got to weave through here. You know what, probably. How you doing, guys? Sweaty. Great, great job, by the way. Here, you can have some mints, too. Oh, there you go. And I got some, yeah, I got some for you. There you go. There you go. Enjoy. Enjoy. This has been in my pocket since like last Thursday. <laughs> All right, it is time. You know what? We got to get over to Disney Springs, and there's no better way to get over there than do a little dance. So follow me. I'm going this way. Sorry. You guys stand right there. I will stand over here. And it's time. Oh, come a little closer. Come a little closer. Right. Yeah, no, buddy up. There you go. All right, we're good? We all in frame? Yeah, we're good. All right, we're good. All right, we're at Disney Springs, but in order to find uh, what we're looking for, we need to know what we're looking for and where we could find it. So, you know what? You know, we should ask the chief. Right? He's going to tell us. Chief! Now, there are 15 places at Disney Springs Marketplace where you might find Phil Grimm, Tom, or The Warrant. Let's look at a few of them. First up, we have Rainforest Cafe. Guests can have a wild time hanging out with Cha-Cha and the gang. Be sure to check out their massive fish tanks and order a volcano. Next. Phil might head to World of Disney for all his Thanksgiving shopping needs. At 51,000 square feet, I'm sure he can find something that tickles his fancy. Maybe needing an energy boost, Phil and Tom might have headed to Goofy's Candy Company, a fun-filled factory where Goofy dreams up treats of cotton candy, cupcakes, and candy in rainbow colors. Finally, did Phil take Tom to Disney's Days of Christmas? Perhaps he was taking notes about how he could turn this 365 Days of Christmas store into a 365 Days of Thanksgiving store. I know I would love an ornament with my name and a date on it to hang from my cornucopia plenty each and every year. Thanks, Chief. All right, it is time to play Loot Warrant Crook. You have to find the loot, the warrant, and the crook in that order. If you find one of those, you get to keep guessing a location. If you don't find any one of those, you do have to pass off the other person will get to guess. So, crew, we're going to let you go first. Where would you like to start? Uh, I would like to start at the Earl of Sandwich. At the Earl of Sandwich. Let's see what's there. Yummy. Oh, my goodness, it is nothing that's not the loot, the warrant, or the crook. Go ahead, Eric. Um, I'm not sure You're not Eric, you're cool. <laughs> I knew that. Eric, Eric's somewhere in the audience now. Hey, there you are, Eric. Eric. Um, let me do the Grapefruit Garage. Grapefruit Garage, right there. What is there? Citrus. <laughs> <laughs> nothing. Nothing. Crew? Uh, let me go for uh, the World of Disney. World of Disney, why not? So many great gifts there, but is there a loot warrant? Biggest Earth? store on property. There is not. Cole, 
Your turn. I'm going to go to the best place that has the best chocolate shakes. Let me do Jerry Deli's. The best. Mm. But it doesn't have a loot or, or, or a crook. Crew. Uh, the Rainforest Cafe. Mm. It's a jungle in there. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Do Disney Days of Christmas. Disney's Days of Christmas. There has to be something there, right? Merrily empty. <laughs> there is nothing there. Crew, you're up again. Oh, man. Uh, feeling trendy. <laughs> trendy. Style. Wait, is there, is there a loot warrant crook on this board? All right. Sorry. Uh, Cole, you're up. Do the marketplace train. The train. Tom. That is the loot. You found the loot. How about the warrant and the crook? Let me do Star Wars Trading Post. Why not? The oh, warrant. You found it. The loot. The warrant. Can you find the crook? I swear to God, I didn't peek. I promise you. I did. I can see the comments now. Uh, you can. Let me do. Oh, my gosh. This is exciting. We've eliminated so many locations. Let me do, gosh dang it. Let me do the spice tea exchange. Spice and tea exchange. Is it the crook? It's the crook! crook! I don't know how. Well, crew, thanks for playing. You were a heck of a detective, and we do have a prize fact for you. Chief, why don't you tell them about it? Great detective work is a team effort, and we want to reward you for being such a key player. That's like why that. we're going to award you with the official Be Our Guest Vacations prize pack. You will also receive three months of Unlock Magic absolutely free. Thanks again for your great work on the case. It's time to lock him up. Just hit that button and we'll lock him up. Yeah! <laughs> All right, excellent job. All right, you are now gonna, you're on the trail. Yeah, you are on the trail to, to, find, uh, to find Tom. Great job here. All right. Uh, oh, what, really? So, who could be calling? Hello? Come on closer, come on. Uh, yeah, no, I, I know, I know, right? It's like he knew his way around, he found it right away. That was so good. Yeah, well, oh, you, you wanna talk to him? Oh, okay, come here, come here, it's for you. Go ahead, go ahead. I swear I didn't cheat. <laughs> well, I am thankful and blessed to be talking to you, Gumshoe. My boss is not pumpkin spice and everything nice and planned on throwing me to the wolves. So I'm going to throw some information your way to be thankful for. Take a look at your Tom Turkey, and you may realize it's no Tom and all turkey. That's right. Your bird's been cooked. Best of luck finding your foul play. <laughs> He's me. Wait, what's going on? Huh? He's me? Yeah. He's very me. That's crazy. So what's going on? Oh, I guess you're the showrunner now. Do you now. think this is... Wait a second. Wait a second. Oh! That's a, that's a Tom. It's a turkey. It's a turkey. We've been fooled. It's not Tom. It's a turkey. Well, wait a wait a wait a minute, Nick. Are you sure it's not Tom? Same classes, same pet. Mr. Corliss, it's really nice to meet you, sir. I'm the biggest you know what? fan. what? Wait. What's the best theme park? Tokyo? It might be Tom. <laughs> wow. Hmm. I don't know. But you know what? I, I, mm, it doesn't smell like Tom. Uh, it smells a little, little turkey-like. smells like that drink I just made. Tom doesn't smell like that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know what? You're going to have to help us find Tom. Okay. You're going to have to be the one that goes out there and finds Tom because this obviously isn't Tom. Look at that. All right. So we're going to send you out there to find Tom. We're going to send you out to Walt Disney World. You're going to have to do that. But 
first, something really important, really important. Oh yeah, don't mind that hand behind there. First thing you're gonna have to do, because if you do find Tom, Be Our Guest is gonna send you to one of these fantastic resorts right there. So I need you to circle the resort you'd like to go to if you win this game, if you find Tom. You want to help you with that? I got it. I got it. You hold one end, I'll hold the other. All Which right. one would you want to get? It? Yeah, don't reveal it to the audience. You just you choose. All right, great choice. We're gonna hide that Where away. Do you want to go? He knows where he wants to go, Rob Cabela, but we won't tell the audience unless he finds Tom. But that's a great choice. That'll be fun. I can't wait. I hope our guest gets the chance to send you there, but we're not gonna find out. So we come back, we got more Where in the World is Tom Corliss right after this. All right, we do have Cole here, and in a moment, he will be looking at this map and trying to find Tom Corliss. Did I get his name wrong? No, Sorry, you're right. People. You're 100%. Oh, man. All right. No, usually when I say a name, people laugh. I, I got it wrong. So I was like, wait, no, I'm pretty darn sure it was Cole. All right. So Cole's going to be going out here trying to find Tom in just a moment. But first, we have to announce our T-shirt winners. All right. We have three winners. <laughs> Kyle Ahrens. Marshall Grayson and LMN-O-P. There you go. Those are our three t-shirt winners. Congratulations. All right. It is time to try to go find Tom Corliss. I'm going to uh, show you a little bit about how this game works. So I'm going to read the location. You are going to take this staff and go place it on the location where you think it is. So right there, if you think it's that location, place it right there in the middle of that green. Place it right there. And, and, that's the, and then we'll tell you if it's right or wrong. If you are right, you will hear this sound. That is right. If you are wrong, you hear this sound. All right. If you are wrong, come back to the Compass Roads, and I will give you another clue. But you get two wrongs. You could stay out there. So if you're wrong, you can guess again. But if you want to come back and get another clue, come back here. If you are right, race back here to the Compass, place the staff. I will give you another clue. Remember, you can pass at any time, all right? You have to get seven right. Seven. Yeah, seven. In a minute and a half. And that means you found Tom Corliss. And be our guest vacations. We'll send you to that hotel of your choice. Are you ready? Yes, sir. You know what, though? I'm not. <laughs> and because before we got here, the chief prepared a video telling you all about the locations out here that you're going to have to go find. So you know what, chief? Go for it. All right, Gumshoe, here is a list of places Tom might be. Expedition Everest, Legend of the Forbidden Mountain. Lost City of Cibola. Remy's Ratatouille Adventure, Kimonos, Astro Orbiter, Great Ceremonial House, Toy Story Mania, Awesome Planet, Computer Pool, Yak and Yeti Restaurant, Fantasia Fairways Mini Golf Course, Splitsville, Miller's Road Bus Stop, Medicine Show Arcade, and M. Mouse Mercantile. Nick, let's go to the map after a quick commercial break. <laughs> Uh, Chief, we already took the commercial break, um, so we're going to skip that commercial break, all right? But he gave you the locations. Are you ready? Yes. All right. Put a minute and a half on the clock. Here we go. Astro Orbiter. <laughs> Got it. Come right back. Kimonos. Yes. Okay. Uh, Remy's Ratatouille Adventure. <laughs> All right, got two. Miller's Road Bus Stop. Pass. Computer Pool. Pass. Fa Fantasia Fairways Mini Golf oh, Course. Do I try that? No, pass. All right, Toy Story Mania. All right, go ahead. Yeah. Right, come on. You got this, you got this, man. 
That's three. Great ceremonial house. Oh, okay, okay, bet. That is four. Medicine, medicine Show Arcade. Pass. M Mouse Mercantile. Oh, pass. Expedition Everest, okay. Legend of the Forbidden Mountain. Oh, what? Oh, right here, I'm sorry. You got five. All right, Yak and Yeti Restaurant. Pass. Lost City of Cibola. Pass. All right, Kimonos. Pass. Uh, Miller's Road Bus Stop. Pass. Computer Pool. Oh, I don't know. All right. No. Come back. Yeah. Oh. What was I at? You were at six. Oh. Wow. Congratulations. Yeah. Um, Tom, do you want to come show them? Tom, Tom, we didn't find you, but you're the only one no who one's can. No ever going to say you came closer than anyone. That was <laughs> That was really good. That was crazy. Really good. Should we see what? Should we see where we didn't? Yeah, go? Fair, Fantasia Fairways right, so Mini Golf Course. Home, if you want to do the top down, we can show people. Oh, my mic's not on. Oh, cool. That was so close. My six. mic's off. All right, so let's show people where we didn't go. Wait, wait, what, what's the first one? Fantasia, uh, Fantasia, Fantasia Fairways. Fantasia Fairways. Fairways. Is that me? Yeah. 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 Where's my mic? Oh, my mic is gone. That's why. You lost it in that spirit jersey you're not used to. I know. I'm never wearing this again. <laughs> where are, Where am I? I don't even know where I am. There we go. There's oh, wow. Fairways. Uh, Medicine Show Arcade. Is that Old Key West? Oh, I'm staying there, too. Or is that Riverside? That's Riverside, right? Riverside is that one. All right. M Mouse Mercantile. That's Grand Floridian. That's the store on the second level of the lot. Yak and Yeti Restaurant. That would have been the same. Yeah. You had Everest. If, yeah. if you just thought about it, it was in the same land, yeah. you would have had it. Lost City of Cibola. That's Coronado, right? Oh, Coronado. I went the wrong way. Here's Coronado. Awesome Planet. Ooh. <laughs> That's unfortunately here. Kimonos. That's going to be at the Swan, which is on this side. The blue one. Miller's Road Bus Stop. Old Key West, which is that one. Computer Pool. Pop Century, right? You take the Skyliner. Oh, that's right. It's over here. It's the only pool shaped like a computer, ladies and gentlemen. That is crazy. Well, Cole, that was, that was an amazing job. Six I out of seven. I wasn't found. In a minute and a half. <laughs> I've died three times. In Sounds this like time. it went to me. Yeah. That's all right. You guys could just have the turkey instead, the inflatable, <laughs> the inflatable turkey man. But we do, uh, we do, Cole, have a prize pack to send you from Be Our Guest. Um, do we have uh, the chief to tell us about? Apparently no? not. No. Tough break. Yeah, you were we so go. close to finding Tom. They really moved him around, didn't they? But you're not leaving here empty-handed. We're rewarding you core bucks equal to the amount of points that you scored in the game. A Be Our Guest Vacations prize pack and a Where in the World is Tom Corliss t shirt. You will also receive three months of Unlock Magic absolutely free. Once again, fantastic work, Gumshoe. And until next time, we salute you. Dude, that was a fantastic job, Cole. You should be very proud of yourself. We're very proud of ourselves, too, Tom, aren't we? This was a great show. It was. It was fun. <laughs> Fortunately, we didn't find you again. Yeah, that turkey was weird, but otherwise. <laughs> you mean the turkey that was pretending to be you? No, I meant the ghost turkey. Oh, the <laughs> ghost turkey or the they turkey? They kept time traveling. And remember, kids, uh, I'm still lost somewhere. <laughs> Good night. But not really. Do what? Dance. What it drinks around the world. Mexico to China is an internet reporter from Magic Kingdom to the spring. Candy? Take you for a ride, <laughs> friendship boat, or on Skyliner. Tell me where in the world is Tom Corliss? Takes a space in Space Mountain, makes a monorail, see double. 
From the TTC to Epcot or to Typhoon Lagoon Tis Ohana to Ohana and goes cruising through the jungle Tell me where in the world is Tom Corliss Go from tower to railway Costa to Launch Bay, Port Orleans to Country Bay, a Jamboree Test Track, and a whip up some Dole Whip, and a visit Caribbean on Cribs, Peachy Blizzards, Doran Sum, Rope Drop Spaceship Earth, Counts Down to Extinction, Little Cries About Horizons, Tell Me Where in the World Is Tom Corliss, Saratoga to Bailey. And Ford via watercraft I'll need new trolley Then the boathouse Old Key West But he soars around the globe And his screen bends every nation He's a pin trading shark With a taste for collecting His itinerary is loaded With dining reservations Tell me where in the world Is Tom Corliss